Welcome back to the ZTP series. Now we're going to start installing ICE using this method. The first platform we're going to cover for ICE installation using the ZTP process is remotely installing ICE on a Cisco SNS server via the Cisco Integrated Management Controller or SIMC. If you haven't already watched the video on how to create the ZTP image, click here to watch it now. Before we get started, let's go over some requirements. The only way the ZTP process works on an SNS appliance is using the virtual media and in doing so, the ZTP image must be mounted before the ICE ISO. Then when ready to install, the ZTP process is the default option, however this process can only be monitored via the serial console. In this video, it is assumed that you've already configured the CIMC. If not, I'll have a video on how to do that linked in the description or you can click on it here. Now go ahead and log into your CIMC. Navigate to the menu button and click compute. Then click the remote management tab and then the virtual media tab. Remember, you have to map the .img file first, so let's do that. Click add new mapping, name it anything you'd like and then choose the mount type and enter the server share address followed by the path to the .img file. If the file is on your local computer, you can click the browse button to choose the file just remember to remove the fake path and enter the actual path using forward slashes. Enter credentials if needed and then save. The file will be verified and when it passes, the status will change to OK. Once we've mapped that file, we can now map the ICE installation ISO in the same way. Here we're going to launch the KVM console. In the older versions of the CIMC firmware, you have the option of a Java based KVM or an HTML based KVM. The HTML KVM is more lightweight and faster to open, so I've always used that for these reasons. In the new firmware, there is no Java-based KVM. Once you open that console window, click Power, Power on System, then off the notification, click OK. When you get to the System Information screen, press F6 to enter the boot menu. If you don't get it at first, don't worry, the screen will come back once the RAID drivers are loaded. At the boot menu screen, press the down arrow to get to the CIMC mapped DVD and press enter. This will bring you to the installation menu. If no option is selected here, the ZTP method is the default and will be automatically chosen after 150 seconds. It is at this last process of the ICE installation that you'll see this symbolic link come up. This is where the patch and the hot patches are being downloaded from the repository. Once the virtual machine reboots, you can log in and now you can verify the ZTP configuration. The first command we're going to use is show version history. This will show all the patches and hot patches that have been installed as part of the ZTP process. The next step will be to do a show version. If you're not installing any hot patches, you can do a show version to see what patches have been installed because the show version itself does not show hot patches. Once you're able to, open up your web browser and log into your ICE virtual machine. Remember to use HTTPS and when you get the certificate error, go ahead and click Advanced and then the Proceed link. Log in with the credentials you set using the ZTP configuration file. Go ahead and dismiss these dialogs and they click the gear in the top right corner and then about ice and server. This will show you the patch that was installed during the ice installation. Close this window and navigate to administration system settings. Choose API settings from the left and then choose the API service settings. You can see here that both the ERS and the open API services have been enabled. And finally, we can go to administration system deployment. We we'll have to get rid of this dialog and then we can click on the host name of our ICE virtual machine. Once the properties page opens, scroll all the way down to see that PS Grid and PS Grid Cloud have been enabled. And there you have it. We've installed ICE on an SNS server using the ZTP method. If you have any questions, please comment down below, like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, and be on the lookout for more in the ZTP series.